Hey guys, and welcome back to Teaching with Miss T. I am Michelle, a third grade teacher in Texas, and today I am here with classroom setup day three, which in reality, this is a combination of like three days. I was already at school for professional development. We are back in contract hours. As you might know, during professional development, you get a lot of meetings and you don't get a lot of time in your classroom every day so in reality we only had a few hours here and there to be in our classroom and then we did have a big chunk of time the day of meet the teacher but you know that that day is crazy um so here are clips from the three days that i was there i do have another video that i'm um, editing right now of the following day where I went and just worked in my classroom. Um, but this one, I do get a lot of things done in the little short breaks that we had. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you are new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you continue to see how this classroom turns out. And if you are already subscribed, thank you so much. You know that I really appreciate all your support. And let's get on with classroom setup day three. Okay, so I just put these up. They're different genres. And then in the square, so I'm gonna print pictures of the read alouds that we read and then we can categorize them as we read them. I love the way the theme posters came out. All I really have left is this bin with like random stuff that I ended up filling last minute when switching. And then this box. And then this bin that has like random-ish stuff that I had left over from fourth grade. Um, those are books, those are books, those are books. So I'm gonna unpack that figure out what it is and then that will help me clear out the rest of the stuff so i can move on So I finished my ABCs, but it's covering that bulletin board. Ugh, should I bring the border down or leave it like that? It bothers me so much. But then I wonder if it's going to bother me that they're not the same size. Okay, much better. And it totally doesn't bother me that it's smaller. I need to use that spray again. There's so much glare to it all. Okay, so if you remember my data wall, this is where it's at right now. I went down and took my stem and I bought some flowers from Hobby Lobby that I'm hoping could work well. I went with yellow because that's my favorite color and then white to just kind of keep the theme. I didn't want to do black and white. Um, but I added like little yellow ones and then I also bought these. I don't know if I'll use them or not. But the little paper fans and then pom-poms. So we'll see what I come up with 
with that. But I bought two of the white flowers and then four of the yellow. I also got this magnetic border for my whiteboard from Teacher Tools. And then this border. I don't know what to do with my outside bulletin board. So I bought it just in case. I'm not loving it. It's double sided so I had two options but we'll see. I don't know exactly what I want to do with it. But yeah. Pretty content with my classroom right now. Loving the ABCs. It still has a glare. I don't know if I want to, I can't spray it again today because it'll be, smell too bad for when parents come in. Loving that. Loving the genres. Loving the sentence stems. Love, love, love. And that is basically it for today's video. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry I didn't get to talk as much as I usually like to, but one, I was trying to get things as done as fast as I could because we had short periods of time and two there's teachers in our building again and you know that makes me a little bit nervous still but that is where my classroom is at right now I'm sorry I didn't get to film a what it looked like before meet the teacher but like I mentioned in the next video I am there a whole day so I'm able to show you what it looks like after meet the teacher and all the extra things that I still do in my classroom I hope you enjoy make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did if you are not yet subscribed make sure to hit that subscribe button and thanks so much for watching i'll see you next time bye